we're building the persons that are going to work in the organizations that we want. Because we're talking about organizations that uh, have a democratic way of doing work. It's difficult to raise people in that mindset if they haven't been educated that way. So uh, uh, those organizations that are working in a democratic way, uh, that have freedom at the center and people at center, um, they need to have persons that understand what freedom and responsibility means in the same context and how to do their work and how to collaborate with the others and how to understand the others and most of all how to cope with everything that a human being is, is feeling. Everything that we do, we have a core, va core values at the base of, uh, of our working uh, experience. And what we're doing, we are relating to collaboration, fairness, equality, uh, freedom uh, in terms of responsibility, uh, challenging each other, treating one another with kindness. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, we, we don't forget about that part of humans that need playing as a child, because there is a lot of learning from that. We, you just need to see it. We're becoming co-creators in, in the alternative. That means we are designing our own a learning experience for the other students. So I can be a teacher and a student in the same time in the organization. It doesn't matter. When you don't have people in the same place, it's harder to enable innovation. You can communicate, you can have a team, but it's harder to keep them together if they don't have that face-to-face -face connectivity. And it's harder to innovate because minds to innovate, minds need to be near other minds. But work can be done like that. Work can be done like that with from time to time meeting uh, each other in person. And that means that I can live a more fulfilling life because I'm not uh, tied to a place, to a, uh, a city, a home, or office space, whatever. We cannot have a world with only specialized people. And we cannot have a world only with people that know general things. But if I have a specialist, like a doctor, a lawyer, uh, engineer or something, but without human skills, without that connectivity, I cannot use that resource. It's like, I can just, it's there, I cannot access it. It's, there is a lot of knowledge in that person, but I cannot access it because he lacks that um, connectivity and communication skills. So I think it's important to raise those because I don't think we know how to communicate. I don't think we know how to be assertive and I don't think we know how to give feedback. And we're losing a lot because we don't know how to give feedback and how to take feedback. This is something that I think we should learn. <laughs>